Hello and welcome to this recording about BigRQ version 7.1 Legacy Apps Visibility and TCP Analytics. BigRQ already delivered per app visibility and analytics via templates for new application services deployments. This means that existing deployments up until now were not able to leverage this per app visibility. Now with the newest BigRQ version 7.1 release, also brownfield deployments are able to leverage per app visibility. And through this demo, we will show you how this works. So first, an existing application gets per app visibility added. And next to that, an app owner will get assigned to this uh, legacy app dashboard. So let's continue and move on to the demo section. To show how legacy application visibility works with BiggerQ version 7.1, Let's start with creating an existing legacy application to the application dashboard. Be aware that this will not redeploy the application or change anything on the big IP itself. Actually, it will take the existing virtual server and all its child objects and group them together as an application within the application dashboard of big IQ. Here you see I'm logged into my big IQ and within the applications tab, let's start to create this existing application. It will be a new application. And in the application service method, we will click use existing device configuration. Let's type a name for the application service and select the big IP where this current app, uh, um, service is, uh, is residing. Now, we need to select the application services type. And since this is a legacy application, it might uh, it is just using tcp and lastly we will select the vip and uh, the, uh, the related vip for um for this uh, this service and bring it over here to the selected pane now be aware that in the application objects you can see that there is a stats profile attached to this uh, environment we could also uh, use uh, the, the the view simple api request to understand how the body, uh, the JSON body of a REST API call looks like and use this uh, to, um, uh, to create an, uh, a REST API call which can be pushed towards BigIQ. Now let's close this one and let's create this uh, legacy application services. Once the legacy application has been created, let's check it out by selecting it. Drilling into the application, you see that the application carries a label called legacy. Uh, this is to remind you that the application dashboard has been created from an existing object-based virtual server. Since this, this is a legacy application, there is a limitation what can be modified from the application dashboard through the configuration pane here in this, uh, in this application dashboard. Checking the analytics. We see that the TCP analytics are sent via AVR, which is enabled on the big IP, to the big IQ DCDs. Now, let's have a closer look at the used TCP profile. For this, we need to go to the configuration step, local traffic virtual service, and we will search for the VIP which was uh, used to create the application dashboard. Now, if, if you have more FIPS than just the couple I have, please use the filter to, uh, to make it happen. We will copy this and, uh, uh, to, uh, to be able to, to use it. And we see that the TCP analytics profile is using the stats profile TCP. Now let's go over to the profile section uh, and we'll, let's use the filter for applications too, because I have lots of profiles uh, to find uh, the stats profile TCP, and here it is. So let's double click it, or click it, and here we see um, the TCP profile, which has been used for gathering the TCP analytics. Uh, it's uh, referenced by VIP142, so this is our check that we can see that this is indeed profile which has been used. And then we, can, uh, we have here all the settings which uh, help us in gathering all the uh, uh, content, all the, the, the data for, uh, for this, uh, this application from a TCP perspective. 
Next, we are going to assign this ex existing application and legacy app service to App Owner Paula. And for this, we need to go to System, select Users, select Paula. And now here in the Roles section, drill down, and we need to give her um, the backend side TCP manager role, the existing app manager role, and the legacy app manager. So that we are selecting those and bring those over to the selected pane and click save close. Now Paula is, uh, is assigned to, uh, to uh, this, uh, this app manager role and let's log out and log back in as Paula to check if this, uh, if this view has been assigned to her. There you go, existing app. Legacy app. And we see that Paula has her view of the legacy app service available. With having all the analytics for the legacy app services, Paula also is able to do some limited configuration uh, modifications like for instance putting a service to disabled and of course uh, with the disablement as you is also able to enable it back This ends the demo BiggerQ version 7.1 Legacy App Visibility and TCP Analytics. Thanks for watching and see you next time.